right guys, welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, go hit that subscribe button. It's free to do it. Um, so I'm out here actually today, it's a beautiful day, uh, pulling my traps, the ones that I didn't quite get out um, because of the high water. But we're out here right now. Um, I found a really cool spot to put a crossover set. As you can see, the otters, they come from this side. Look at this. Look at all them tracks. I don't know if you can make that out, but then they go over to that body of water. Two years ago, I put a 160 here, and I kind of blocked it off, but the otters quit using it. But I think that if I was to put a few stepping sticks here, and just put like a number four long spring trap here, I'll bet you that would work. So guys, it's like, I'm out here now, and uh, I have many more months to wait till the actual trapping season so this is just a tease right but anyhow stay tuned to this video because the main purpose of this is actually going to be to teach you all how to tan a muskrat so stick around if you want to see that into the video okay guys here we go uh, starters I mean you know I'm just gonna say how quick and um, cheap it is to tan your own hides um, you know it only costs a few bucks you know all you need is some plain regular canning salt um, just all you're gonna want to use you're not gonna want to use iodine iodized salt just plain regular salt what the salt does is it helps when you soak it in the salt water it keeps the fur so it stays intact to the skin and it makes kind of it's like it's called a pickle so it, it preserves the fur I guess you could say secondly you know you're gonna need some sort of tanning solution um, this is only a few bucks as well um, the instructions are on the back of the bottle stating what you're gonna do use um, you know there's many ways of tanning you can use the brains mix that with water um, there's other people who do that. Um, you know, there's many ways for a muskrat like this. I mean, you could do a simple egg yolk. Um, there's people who use rendered lard, you know. Um, there, like I said, there, there's many different ways you can do it. So what all I'm tanning today is a muskrat and these beaver tails that I saved from one of my beavers this past spring. Um, start with something small, you know, something that's not really worth a whole lot of money rather than starting you know with a with a coyote or something and you know practice with something you know small easy you know and once you get good at it you know also here i have sandpaper you can take the sandpaper here you're going to want a rougher grit type of sandpaper you're going to take that and all this is for is just to remove that membrane so that you can thin out the skin so that when you apply the tanning oil it'll apply and it'll go into the skin better because all that membrane does is just blocks the, the tanning oil from going into the skin as well as you're gonna need a bucket of water as well so uh, you never want to use hot water just you know room temperature we're just gonna stick the, the, the hide in the water and what this is gonna do is it's gonna soften that skin up because right now it's been sitting you know in the in the basement for the whole winter so the skin is dry so we just stick it in the water so it all gets so the skin becomes soft again like the day that I skinned it out so we're just gonna wait you know I don't know 10 minutes or so so the skin becomes soft so it's pliable okay guys it has been about 15 minutes Beaver tails are still, you know, like newspaper, cardboard. 
So you can see here now the muskrat is completely, it's soft, right? So we're just gonna take, get most of that water out. Very gently, you don't wanna um, go ripping down the pelt. That'll cause the fur to, you know, pull out, right? Obviously. All I'm doing is I'm starting here and I'm kind of like squeezing it, going down a little bit, squeezing, down a little bit, squeezing, squeezing. If this was a bigger animal, like a coyote, you can take it and you can whip it. What that does is it gets the majority of that water out of that fur. This is only a thin skinned little muskrat. So we have to be careful because, you know, the hide will rip. But just try to get the majority of the water out going with, you know, the grain of the fur. Just go down the pelt, and then we're going to turn it inside out. By the way, I can roll the clip of when we caught this muskrat too. Muskrat! Yeah, with the on Beautiful. Kiss it. No. I dare you. I, <laughs> I kissed it. Alrighty, so here we go. It is turned inside out. Let me get this out of the way here. Next, we're gonna take we're gonna take our salt. Remember, all this is just plain canning salt. We're just gonna, you know, put some on the skin. You know, thoroughly get it good. And we're gonna take and we're just gonna rub it into the skin, just like this. Take. Don't be afraid to get, you know, dirty. It's all part of the game. Take and go like this. Rub it in there good. Pat it in. Get all, each little tiny little spot. What the salt will do it is, it is it'll dry out the fur or the skin and it'll cause, it'll preserve it. Because you know, salt preserves, right? Take it. Any of you who, you know, want to get into tanning, you know, um, I've had many, you know, failures. I feel though, you know, failing is just all part of learning, right? It's just a learning experience. Don't be afraid to try it. Like I said, start with something small, something that's really not valuable. Make it into something that is valuable, right? If you get good at it, who knows? You could start your own business or something. All right, so here we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna roll it back the right side way, if that makes sense. We're just gonna reach into the hide. And we're gonna put it right back the way it was. Being very careful not to rip it. We're gonna turn it back the first side out and we're gonna just put a little bit more salt in there. Because if some fell off, it's gonna go like that. And then we're gonna roll it up. Make sure skin goes on skin. If you're doing a coyote or something, put the arms inside the pelt. Just roll it up, just like this. You're gonna leave this for 20 sit for 24 hours. Put it in somewhere cool, dry, and dry. Every you're gonna change the salt twice every 24 hours. So we're just going to roll it up and we're going to leave it. All right, everybody, it's the next day. Um, so what I did not show on camera is, you know, it's been 24 hours. I took the muskrat and I got as much of the salt off the skin as possible. Now you're going to take the hide and you're going to put it in plain water and you're going to pickle it. So you're going to add about half a pound of salt, you know, I don't really measure, I just add a little bit. That's about half a pound right there. I already had some salt in here to begin with. I'm just gonna kind of mix it in. What's gonna happen is this, this is basically just like a pickle, Brian, and it preserves the fur. You're gonna let this sit in here for, I don't know, eight hours. All right, guys, a few hours later, this thing's been sitting in the salt water bath for a little bit. Now we're gonna take it out I'm gonna check, make sure no slippage has occurred. That can happen with thin critters, thin skin critters. Looks to be good. So we'll take our critter, 
I'll go like this. Get as much of that water off as we can. take and we're going to turn them inside out. Here's our muskrat. Here I got sandpaper on my block. We're going to take and we're going to rub it. What this is going to do is it's going to get it off as much of that membrane as we can so that when we apply the tanning oil, it'll go in easier. Another way of doing it, if you don't have sandpaper, just take a knife, scrape it like this. It works pretty good, just be careful. Make sure the skin's tight. Go like that. All right guys, membrane is removed. Next, we got some warm water here with some soap in there. You're gonna wanna use a mild, mild soap. Uh, something with no bleach or chlorine in it. What I use is I use Dawn dish soap. Helps get that grease off, like, like coons, uh, beavers, muskrats, they're all pretty fatty. So you need something to get that grease off and Dawn dish soap works really good. Just use warm water, wash the fur, get it good and clean. Pretty much what this looks like is a wet rat. That's what it is. Okay guys, I think you can see me okay. Here's the muskrat. Looks pretty, I don't know. Um, but it is all cleaned. It smells, it smells good. As good as a muskrat can get, I guess. But anyhow, now we're gonna put the tanning oil on. Okay guys, we gotta make this quick. Here's the muskrat. I'm just gonna turn it inside out. Just like this. You can see membrane is all removed or take wear, wear gloves guys you have to wear gloves this stuff does not smell very good and it's very sticky you just take you know put some on try not to get it on the fur like I said it is pretty sticky roll up your sleeves as well just like that rub it into the to the skin just like this Get every little spot. Massage it right into the to the critter. Get her good. Flip. Do the other side. like this guys simple easy cheap the only ingredients you really need are you know a bottle of that tanning oil some salt to tan them yourself is cheap you know if you get good at it thing is thoroughly coated in tanning oil 
Now what we'll do, I'm just going to add a teeny bit more on each side. I'm going to make sure she's good and coated. All right, now we'll take and we'll put it first side out. And we'll just leave it hang in a room temperature, hang it in my basement, just like this. I'll leave it overnight. And in the morning, we'll check back in. All right, everybody, it is actually two days later. And I thought I'd show you the finished product. I know you're dying to see it. Here it is. Look how beautiful it is. It's like completely dry. The fur is nice and soft. It's clean. Here's the skin side. Look at that. How soft and it's completely dry. This is exactly what you want. If this is preserved, it is going to last a long time. What I didn't show you in the video is how to break them. So after um, this sits rolled up or folded up with the tanning oil on it, you wait 12 hours and uh, you have to take and you're gonna have to open, you're gonna have to like look gently, like take two thumbs and just pull very gently, very lightly. What that does is that opens up the grains and that makes them soft. If you don't do this, it's just gonna become as stiff as cardboard again. So I recommend doing this for like a day or so as it slowly dries and uh, you can see how soft and beautiful this 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 critter really is so okay everybody thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned some book too um, if you want to see a real professional do it here's his video right here but uh, if you get if you enjoyed this leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions or tips new video ideas I'd love to hear them so anyhow Thanks everybody. It's about to rain. I better close this video off. So God bless. Have a great day.